And today we are going to be talking about how you can radiate positivity. Okay, let's get into it. The problem with being a negative person is that the universe reflects the energy that you put out. So if you are just constantly living in this negative mindset and you're just always being mean to people, you just always have this bad attitude, then it's going to come right back at you. Look at the big picture and say, wait, I am the problem. The center of all the negativity is me. So having that negative mindset and just always being negative to the world not only hurts other people, but it hurts yourself because all of that is coming back towards you. And so, you know, you're hurting yourself and you're not allowing yourself to be happy, which can take away from your health. I'm going to give you some tips on how you can get out of that negative mindset and be positive all the time and just radiate positivity, which then will attract positivity to you. So the first thing is to reevaluate. Just ask yourself why you're having all these negative thoughts and then address those issues. A lot of times it's just the way we think, you know? Everything can be fixed by changing your bad thoughts into happy thoughts. And so whatever issues you're having with yourself, your situation, other people, just take a step back and look at them as they are, not with the way you feel about them, but just as they are, and then address those issues so that you can take the negativity out of them. Do you benefit anything from being negative? No, which is why it's negative because you get nothing from it. You know, the only thing that you get from it is just more negativity and hatred and, you know, all these stress feelings that are not good for you. And so it's like, why? What's the point of being negative? You know what I mean? But you get a lot of benefits from being a positive person. Being positive brings a happy and healthy life in all areas. So that's relationships, work, school, anything, you name it. If you have a positive mindset about it, you will be happy with the place you're in. The third one is quite simple, but it works. Charms, I swear. Smile, that's all you need to do in some cases is just smile. You will feel better about yourself You'll feel better about the world, you'll feel better about your life, and you'll just attract positivity. You'll attract other people, and they'll feel good about you, which will make you feel good about yourself. Like, sometimes if you're just having a bad day, just smile, and happiness will follow. It may seem fake at first, but just fake it till you make it. That's always my model. Fake it till you make it and it will happen. Just smile and then all this positive energy is just going to be flowing through you and then it'll start flowing out of you. And so another big one, which is what I think a lot of people need to work on, be which I mean it makes sense because we're humans and we tend to do this a lot, but just move forward. Don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on negative things in your life that will hold you back. Just 
move forward and look ahead at all the good things that are to come, you know? It makes no sense to dwell on things that happen that you can't fix, you can't change it. So just accept it, embrace it, embrace yourself, acknowledge that you can be a different person than who you were before and that you don't have to make the same mistakes and move forward onto better things in your life. Take note of the people in your life that you're just naturally drawn to. Have you ever met someone and just right away you're feeling their vibe and you're like, wow, you're, you know, amazing. You make me feel good just by standing near you. You know, there's those people that are just like always smiling, always have something good to say, never have anything bad to say. You can be that person. You know, just look at the things of those kind of people in your life and think about the things that you envy from them. And I'm not saying to be them, but take note of those things and adapt them to yourself. Adapt those things to your vibe, which is what I've done because there are just people where I'm like, okay, you're amazing. And I want to know why, like how? And I just realized, okay, you know, they're just always positive. They never say anything bad. They just always want to make other people happy. And I was like, I can do that, you know? I can look for the good in other people. It can make people feel good about themselves. And so I've done that. And I think people can say that I have a nice vibe or good aura, whatever, you know, but it's because I try to make people feel good about themselves all the time. So just always reflect positivity. Another one is, it sounds cliche and cheesy, but it works. Think happy thoughts. Just always think happy thoughts, and if you think positive, you will be positive. It's that simple. So this last one is something to really think about, something that should push you into radiating positivity, is that energy doesn't lie. So what does your vibe say about you? If you don't like it, then change it. Now I'm not telling you to change for the world. I'm not telling you to change into a mold that other people want you to fit. I'm telling you to be your better self. And if you're constantly negative, if you're constantly living in a negative mindset, then you're not going to be able to be your best self. You're not going to be able to be fully happy. You know, just think about what kind of energy you want to give out and if that's hard, think about the energy that you want to receive in your life. So whatever you want thrown back at you, make sure that that's what you throw out into the world. All right, well that's it for Radiating Positivity. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you think that there are other tips that people should follow, leave it in the comments below. And if there's anything else that you want to see on this channel, make sure to let me know. And Subscribe for videos every Thursday. All right, be happy, be healthy, be a golden vessel. See you next week. Bye.